I will show you how to integrate OpenCV in your ROS2 subscriber node package to extract camera images from your gazebo simulation using CV Bridge to work with CV Mat images. So here on the left, you can see our gazebo simulation. And on the right is our camera feed using OpenCV and CV Bridge. So this video will be using some of the previous material that we covered in this video right here, where we went over how to set up your camera in Gazebo and Arvis. But in this video, our main focus will be talking about how to read image from Gazebo and use with OpenCV, how to install OpenCV for ROS, update your cmakelist.txt file for OpenCV, update your package.xml file, create the subscriber node to read camera images from Gazebo, and finally, view camera feed from Gazebo using OpenCV and CV Bridge. Now let's talk about how to read image from Gazebo and use with OpenCV. So this will be the general concept, and then later on we'll dive into the actual coding implementation. I will have everything on my website if you want to reference the code and documentation. Link will be in the comments. So here you can see that we have our Gazebo here. So our Gazebo will be passing in a message to our node. So this, this message that we're passing in will be the camera image raw. And inside of our OpenCV node, what this will do is it's going to utilize the CV bridge. And then this CV bridge will be responsible for transforming the message type from Gazebo into a CV mat data type. And this will allow us to use OpenCV to plot the image that we extract into the window that we're going to render on our screen. So how do you install OpenCV for ROS? What you want to do is run this command here, sudo apt install dash y lib OpenCV dash dev. And this is all you need to do. Now the updates that you need to make for your cmakelist.txt file. What you need to do is add these three things here, the find package. So one is for the sensor message, another one is for CV bridge, and the next one is OpenCV. And here we're going to have some of the add executable and amend target dependencies for our OpenCV node. So here we have set up, uh, we're going to tie in our source file here. And then here we're going to link the dependencies. So we're using the RCLCPP, sensor messages, CV bridge, and OpenCV. Now for the updates for our package.xml file for OpenCV. So here we're going to add two new things. So first one is the sensor messages, and the next one is our CV bridge. Everything else is going to be from our previous camera tutorial. So these are the only two new ones that we need to add. Now let's go over the actual code that we need to create a subscriber node to read camera images from Gazebo. So first off, we want to add a OpenCV node.cpp file into our source folder inside of our Gazebo tutorial. And up here, we're gonna have our includes. So we have our RCLCPP, our sensor messages, our CV bridge, and then our OpenCV. So these two are the main things that's going to be responsible for some of the image processing. But here you can see that we have our class, our OpenCV node, and we are inheriting it from RCLCPP. So here we have our public uh, part of our class. And this part, we're creating our uh, node here, calling it OpenCV node. And here we are setting our subscription. We're creating the subscription and saving it. And notice here that some of our message type here, you see we declared it to be the camera image raw. And this will be calling our callback function, which you'll see down below here inside of our private. So if we take a look at what we have here, what we have is our image callback. So this is the main thing that's going to be doing the operations on images. And you can see that here we're passing in a message type. So our message type is going to be the sensor message that we talked about earlier. But here you can see that the main goal of the CV bridge here is going to be to convert this message into our CV mat data type. And we're calling that frame. And then once we do that, we're able to use the uh, I'm show as we're used to in our OpenCV. And then here we have our camera and frame. So if you're new to OpenCV, I have a Python playlist that covers all the OpenCV concepts. You can go ahead and check that out on my channel. But here we're using it in C++. The concepts are pretty much the same. So once you have that, 
um, we have our try catch here. So if it doesn't work, we're going to throw an error. So now if we keep going down, you see that we have our main function as usual. So this will call our init spin and shutdown. And then once you do all of that, this is all you need to have your node up and ready to go. And then later on, we'll show you how to actually run it. Now to view the camera feed from Gazebo using OpenCV and CV Bridge, um, we've set up our launch file from our previous tutorial here. So after all the changes that we've made, you want to rebuild this source and then go ahead and run your launch file. So here you can see that we're just going to run this launch file and this will bring up our simulation as well as our camera that we're, or our other node will bring up our camera. But here you can just see our simulation. So go ahead and throw in an object here. And I'm going to go back to my terminal and we're going to run one more thing to start our node for our OpenCV node. So here I've already sourced it and went to the folder, but you can see that here is now our camera rendering. And if I put it side by side, you can see that this is our gazebo simulation here. So this is what we expect. And you can see that, you know, if I were to move the ball around, then you should be able to see the camera feed update as we expect. So this is pretty much all you need to do to get your camera set up. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.